Hi friends, welcome to OFA Studies YouTube channel. In this video, we will be discussing about creating branches and why we have to create a branches and when we create a branches. So let me explain this requirement first. So let's go back to my browser. So this is my GitHub account. In my GitHub account, if I navigate to this icon here, right side top corner, you see that my repositories menu that will give all the repositories. So I have one public repository here called my repo project. So let me go inside this repository where I have kept my project. Imagine this is my project and right now there is only one branch which is called main and it has demo.py file and readme.md file. So ideally main branch is a default branch. So that's where the code which is actually in a running state or the production version of the code will be there. So let's assume I am a developer of this project and I have to start working on this project uh, to develop some feature in it. So I cannot directly go and edit the code in the main branch. The best practice is I have to create my own branch first and then my changes should be in that branch. After that I have to create the PR request. So the flow goes like this. So I will be so main code will be there in the main branch and whoever the developer works they will create their own branch. So for example, if I am working, I create a branch called maybe like Mahir. Okay, so in this Mahir branch, I will get all the code from the main branch. Then all the changes I will be doing in the Mahir branch only. So maybe developing a new file and all. Then all these changes, I will take that back into the main branch and the process of taking that branch is the code into the main branch is called as a PR. So using a PR, I will match the changes into the main branch. So this is how the general cycle with whom we work. So how to do all these things when we are working in a project, right? So in this case, I have only main branch and I have the, some code there. So I wanted to take this code into my local and I have to create one branch in my local, maybe with the name Mahir and I have to do the development there and finally push that changes into the GitHub repo so that my Mahir branch also will come there. So right now only one branch we have that is main branch. Okay, so let's start doing this setup. So what I will be doing is I am going to the C folder and inside the C folder I wanted to create a local repo. So right click open terminal and uh, in the terminal right I will be using git init is the command to create a repository. I think you remember it from my previous videos. If you don't remember it, please try to watch the previous video or follow this video. You will get it. So my repo project. I am giving a same repo name what I have my github also right. So I'm giving a similar name to avoid the confusion. So I'm creating a local repo with that name. So once I created uh, I can I can connect my local repo with the remote repo right. So for that what I have to do git remote add origin origin means the remote repository. I hope you know that then here I have to use the URL. So go to my uh, go to my uh, repo here. Click this code icon, copy this URL. So all these steps we have did in our previous videos. So run it. So there is uh, something git, not a git repository. Okay, sorry. I have created this repository, right? I have go inside that repository. Right now I am in C drive only. So if I go to the C drive, see a folder created. So I have to navigate to here. So let me close this and open the terminal from this folder where I have created a git repository. Then here I will be using that uh, git repo command one second. So let me clear this. So here I will be using the git remote add origin then the URL of the git repo. And when I run that now my git repository which is there in a local connected with my remote repository. I can use the git status. Uh, to see the status also. So the moment you see the status, it clearly says that right uh, you are on a master branch, no commit and all because in local by default master branch will get create whenever you get some files. So to see the branches in a local, so I can execute git branch, but it shows empty nothing, right? Why there is no master branch also? The reason is you have to create one file at least in the local or get the files from the remote repository. Then only you can see the branch there. So anyways, I connected to my repo remote repository, right? I can check that status using the git remote space hyphen V command. It says that I have connected with this 
git repository so let me pull the changes let me pull the files or the code from my remote repository uh, origin means remote repository main branch because if you remember that is the branch where we i have my code which is in a working condition which i have to take it into my local for the development but of course when i take it i have to take it in a different branch so first let's get the files first okay so pull origin main so when i run that automatically it will get all the files into my local so now if i go to my local see you can see that i i can see the files here okay so i am good now so now let's run this uh, git branch command and when i run that git branch command you can see that right now it says that there is something called a master branch inside the local repository i haven't created a master branch i just taken the files from my remote repository the moment you take the files then automatically it will create a branch called master in the local as well but my idea is not to work on this branch i have to create my own branch and then i have to start working there because that's the ideal way of doing the code changes right i cannot directly best way is have your own branch that's where you should have your code changes as well okay so what i will be doing it git branch then the command to create a branch is git branch maybe mahir that is the name of the branch i will give so it created a branch now so i can run this git branch command once again and you can clearly see that right now it has two branches according to git in the local it has two branches in my local so but i have to work on the mahir branch so all the code whatever i have in my local system it should be on the mahir branch and that's where i should start working but right now all the code is in the master branch right so what i need to do i need to check out the mahir branch then the moment you do that your focus will switch to the mahir branch and the files or the code in the local system will automatically start processing from the mahir branch only so let me show you that so i will do this git checkout mahir the moment i run that command it says that we have switched to mahir branch let me check the branches once again grid branch command this time you can see that mahir branch in the green color that means now you are in the mahir branch the code whatever you have in your local also on the mahir branch so that's how it is so i created a branch in my local only this branch would have not been created in the remote repository yet so i can go to the browser and i can refresh and show you so let me refresh this repository and when i do the refresh you can still see you can still see only one branch here right so there is only main branch there is no other branch still but in my local i have the mahir branch so what i will be doing it maybe i did some development i have developed a python file so let me create a new text file maybe testing dot py file so this is the new code changes which i did so i created a new python file assume so let me open the python file and try to write some code also here so what i will be writing maybe print this is testing file so let me save this so assume that i have completed my development i have did a new feature implementation or the new enhancements to the existing feature something i did it which is the intention to develop my product let's assume so now when i pull these changes sorry when i push these changes to the git repository i should not directly push into the main branch in the github repository i should take these changes into the my personal branch which is mahir that is the reason in my local i have created my branch and did the changes there so now when i try to push these changes to the remote repository automatically it says that there is no branch called mahir on the upstream okay so in the upstream means in the in the github repo we don't have any mahir branch right so that's what it is saying so there is no mahir branch only main branch so it looks like you want to push this entire branch into the github so use this command that's what it is telling so let me copy this and paste it so git push set upstream origin that means the remote repository mahir branch so when i hit enter then automatically the entire branch which i created mahir in my local it will also create a branch in my uh, remote repository called mahir and all the file changes whatever i did all the code whatever i had it will take everything into there so it is already did it so what i can do now i can go to the browser and i, I can refresh this repository now so when i refresh this repository you can clearly see that i have a two branches now so let me click these two branches uh, see see it created 
something called Mahir branch under your branches. So, so what I can do, I can click this Mahir branch and uh, you, when I click this Mahir branch, you see that there is still demo.py file, readme.md file. But our assumption was we have created this testing.py file. Even that file should go to the Mahir branch, right? What happened? Why it has not gone? The reason is I added this file, but if you remember my previous uh, videos in the GitHub, if you add the file that is not that is, that is not uh, done right, you have to um, stage these changes and then you have to commit these changes also, right? So I haven't done that. I haven't staged them. I haven't committed them. So whatever left before on the branch, everything went into the Mahir branch and it created a Mahir branch there. So let's push these changes also there, right? So I already did the changes, right? So what I can do it here, I can go and execute the git status command just to, to make sure, yes, testing.py file is there. Now I can do git add all file means dot. So this will stage the changes. So now once I done it, I can do git commit hyphen m. So I can use a message, maybe testing file added. So that is the message I'm adding it, hit enter. So now even these changes are committed into my local Mahir branch. So now if I do the push, right? If I do git push, right? So Mahir branch is already there in upstream. So the changes were went into the Mahir branch from the local branch to remote branch. So now the testing that py file would have been loaded into the GitHub as well. So when I go here and when I refresh this browser on the Mahir branch, you can clearly see that testing.python file got added and it is also giving you that there are some changes in the Mahir branch in comparison with the main branch. So you want to merge them using a pull request because in the main branch, this file is not there. Somebody called Mahir has created their branch and they have did their changes into this file. So now let's assume everything looks fine. Now we want to take this file into the production or into the uh, default branch or the main branch because that's where the actual code host, which is running. So to do that, we have to create something called pull request. So quickly, if I navigate to the main branch, you don't see the testing.py file there. See, you don't see the testing.py file. It is available only in the Mahir branch, okay? So what we did in this video, we have created a branch because that's where we want to implement our changes and we have taken that branch into the GitHub repository as well. So how to merge the changes between one branch to another branch on the GitHub repo using the PR request that we will see in our next video. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for listening. Have a nice day.